guys, I'm back with another tutorial and this is my no makeup makeup look. I feel like a lot of these products are really good for that no makeup makeup look because they look so natural and they make your skin look so good that it's just perfect for this type of makeup look. Obviously I added some highlight because highlight is life glow but you can skip that if you want to. You guys can tweak it how you want. You can do eyeliner. You can use falsies, have a dramatic lip, don't apply a lip color, you can use a lip balm, you know, just do it however you want. This is just my way of doing it, the products that I love to use. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, like and subscribe and follow my Instagram, I'll leave it down below and I'll see you guys on my next video. So first, I'm just going to take my Rose Salve Balm and I'm going to be applying that to my lips to moisturize and prep them for later. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Hangover X Primer to prime my face and it also moisturizes it so it's great. Taking my Magic Lumi Primer, I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones, forehead and chin. I learned this trick from Kylie Jenner's makeup artist Harouche and it makes your skin look super glowy and healthy so I love this trick. Taking my True Match Lumi foundation, I'm just going to be applying that to my face and down my neck. And I really love this product for the no makeup makeup look because it looks super healthy and glowy on your skin. But it looks like you don't have any foundation on, so it's perfect. Taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I'm going to use it to highlight. And I'm applying it in dots instead of swiping it on because this way it looks more natural. So now using my Laura Mercier contour palette, I'm taking the contour shade number one and I'm going to be applying that with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm contouring with a cream instead of a powder because creams look more natural on the skin than powders do. Now with my Real Technique sponge, I'm going to use it to blend out my contour even more just in case there's any harsh lines left. Grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I'm going to take the yellow banana shade and I'm going to set my highlight with it. Instead of swiping the product on, I use padding motions, that way my concealer doesn't move around. Now I'm taking Dim Light from the Hourglass palette and I'm going to use it to set my whole face and I really love this product because it's really natural and it looks great on the skin. Now I'm applying Radiant Light with a Morphe angled brush to set the cream contour and to bronze up my face a little bit. I love using this powder because it gives you a beautiful glow from within and it looks really nice. Now I'm taking Milani's Luminoso and I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks for a luminous glow. I love using baked blushes because they look super natural on the skin. Using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm taking the shade Java and I'm applying it with my Morphe M441 brush in the crease just to add some depth to the eyes. And obviously you can't forget the brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel and Brunette to set my brows in place. And now with my brow wiz, I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas left in my brows. Taking Peach Nectar Illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. For mascara, I'm going to be using one by Lancome. I don't know the name of it, but you can use whatever mascara you like. Again, I'm using that Peach Nectar Illuminator by Anastasia and I'm just going to be highlighting my cheeks with it. Now I'm 
grabbing Lolita by Kat Von D and I'm going to use this as my lip color today and I love this color because it looks really similar to my natural lip color so for this no makeup makeup look it's perfect. So this is a final look you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Peace out.